So, are they taking the Barons again, or is it the Garden <laughs> Spot? Oh, man. Oh, we, <laughs> we got the LL uh, football tab here that uh, the morning paper just put out here. Uh, good information. A lot of guys working on this. Make sure you get a copy. It is football season. Games are It fun, is. Mike. This is how you know when you're reading you. through the annual football tab. You know, who, who's we got Guard Spot on the cover. I, I, first of all, to have Guard Spot on the cover, to me, says a lot about high school football around here. Um, talk about Garden Spot first of all. Uh, well, Garden Spot, uh, a couple years ago when Lancaster, Lancaster Catholic made their big move from Section 3 of the Lancaster Lenin League to 1, Garden Spot moved down and, and, and they did it at, you could say, some would argue, an unfortunate time because they've had real good teams and yeah. maybe would have been better off in Section 2, but they, were, they have been able to be pretty dominant in Section 3 and are expected to be again. Unfortunately, a little bit unfortunately for them, being in district three, being in section three hurts you for district, district playoff points mm -hmm. if you're a triple A school. So so there's that issue. But yeah, they should be very good. They have a quarterback who played as a sophomore a kid named Mitch. Uh, I hope I don't get his name wrong. Mitch Martin, I think his name is. And and uh, and uh, good coach Matt, Matt Zamparelli, good guy. Uh, and Garden Spot should be. This feels like a year in the league where where there's a lot of. Uh, we lost a lot of really good skill position players. Right. We lost a lot of stars, Roman Clay and yeah. guys like that. So everybody tends to think, well, now maybe it's going to be a down year, so you tend to look to the usual suspects. You look at Wilson. You look at Lancaster Catholic. You look at Man on Central, Cocalico. And, and, and in Section 3 right now, that usual suspect would be Garden Spot. Interesting. That's Section 3, and that's the top team to watch. Section, we'll go in reverse now. Section 2, is it the usual spec, suspect in Man on Central? Uh, and if so, okay, then who are the players on that team to be watching? Well, man, here's an interesting thing about Mannheim Central. In 2009, when they had Dakota Royer, that group, yeah. they went to the state final. That's the last time they won the section. Wow. It's been a little while since they even won a section title. Isn't that surprising? It tells you how good Lampeter Strasburg and Cocalico have been. Cocalico won the section two last year. So I think those three teams will be very good again. But I do think Central has... I think their best team since that 09 team. They have a lot of good pieces. The quarterback, Colin Fry, is an excellent player. They have an all-state returning tight end wide receiver type, uh, Taylor Guy. They have, they have a line, the core of the offensive line is back. Um, they'll have to get a little better defensively. They'll have to get a little bit physically tougher, I think. I think that's what, what Mike Williams is worried about with that team. But this could be Central's best, what we think of as, man, I'm Central. This could be kind of a, a good addition to that. Back to the glory years yeah. a little bit. Okay, Section 1. Uh yeah, man, 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 I think Mannheim Township looks pretty good. Penn Manor is a team, but they're banged up. They had some injuries. Yeah. They played Central in the scrimmage. Well, Wilson Wilson, Wilson right. has won it, I think, nine times in the last ten years. And they've had 30, this is, I think, 37 consecutive winning seasons. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, uh, the terrific program, and they, they won the, uh, a district title last year. Uh, and, and they lost a lot. They lost a lot. But they lose a lot and keep churning. They're yeah. a, they are really a program. a program. I mean, that is a, that is a machine uh, down there in, uh, in, in West Lawn. So, so I think people are still kind of conditionally picking them. Penn Manor, a lot of people really, really liked Penn Manor going into the year. I went to their scrimmage, their opening scrimmage with Mannheim Central. Just not even, I was just looking for some quotes for some other things. Not even, and three of their best players got injured in that scrimmage and two of them are out for a long time maybe the year broken arm broken collarbone so mm -hmm. so they're now a question mark I, everybody likes Lancaster Catholic but they lost Roman Clay they lost a quarterback they lost a, a receiver D-back Mark Titus who was a terrific football player mm -hmm. so so they they've got the kids up front they've got the size and the numbers and everything so so section one is a little bit I think people think of Wilson as being a little bit vulnerable uh, Penn Manor now a little vulnerable Role because of these injuries, mm -hmm. uh, it, that, that's I think those three teams. Interesting. Now, is there any good matchups we should be circling for, for this Friday? Well, you know, um, LS and Hempfield. I think uh, Lion Peter Strasburg is 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 like a, program. a terrific program. Great young, uh, great. He's not so young anymore, but he's coach yeah. John Mannion. He's, he's a great guy, a one of my favorites, and and, and an excellent, cool. excellent coach. And I think Hempfield is going to be better. Hempfield is kind of the sleeping giant in our league, I think, and they really ought to be a monster in football. I think they're going to be better this year. They're not going to be a monster, but I think they're going to be better, yeah. and that's a real good opening night game.